Hello and welcome to a quick unboxing of the AKK FX2 Ultimate video transmitter. This is a 5.8 GHz video transmitter with a whopping 1200 milliwatt maximum upper power and it goes as low as 25 milliwatts. So this is really really cool. And it comes with a MMCX connector. Another really cool thing because it's the new standard. Uh, I, I'm not really like hating on the UFL, the old connector standard for video transmitters, but this is so much better. I love how it just snaps in and it's, it's really tight and you can rotate it if you tighten this down, the antenna, there's no um, tension on the cable because of that. And then another thing I really love is, I, I know some guys love to direct solder, but I love to have a connector on the, uh, on, on the VDX. And then I will cut the cables here and solder them directly to a deflect controller or in this case, I might just use this for the camera. So another cool thing is this thing has a smart audio so I can control it via the flight controller, change channels and out the power and even set pit mode with the button. It looks like you can't select pit mode but with the smart audio commands it will work. Another interesting fact is while Smart Audio has different power levels, if you set 800 as the Smart Audio command, it will jump to 1200 and uh, 25 and 200 are the same and the 500 milliwatt setting is for, is triggering the 600 milliwatt setting. So much for that. Okay, so another cool thing is the weight. So I will just remove the connectors yeah, tight fit. I love it. So let's bring the scale here. Hope you can read it. And let's put this on here. So we are at 9.4 grams. And that's pretty respectable for the upper power and the fact that this runs 6S. I can power this straight from 6S LiPo. And with the 1000 milliwatt, we have like sort of long range in mind. And if we're thinking about long range, we want to get the, uh, the, the voltage up so we have a little current and have a, a more efficient power setup. So we are probably running 6S and this will fit perfectly. And you might have already guessed it, this is the 30 by 30 or 30.5 by 30.5 millimeter hole um, distance what most of our air flight controllers use. So let's just confirm that. So this should be here. Let's check this out. So yeah, so we have here 30, 30.5, something like that. And let's get the other measurements as well. I will give you one with the connector and that's 37.23. Without the connector, it's 36. And this should be 36 as well, it is. And let's look for the tallest part and that's the connector right there. So that will be 5.95 and the heat sink sort of, or better call it the RF shield. It's pretty much five millimeters tall. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think. So much for the unboxing, I love it, and I will do my blog post soon. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.